Hey everybody, this is RD Clutch doing another clutch review. Today we're going to be looking at Petzl's Tika 2 XP. I've had this headlamp for about a month now. And uh, before we get into the specs uh, of this headlight and uh, about the things I like about it and things I don't like about it, I just kind of want to give you some context and some background in terms of you know why I chose this light and, and what I was looking for. Uh, basically I wanted something small and compact. Uh, I've had several other headlamps uh, that have felt bulky on my head um, that you know with the battery pack and whatnot just it was too heavy so I definitely didn't want a battery pack. I wanted something light. Um, secondly I wanted a headlamp that had multiple functions. I wanted something that had a high beam, that had a low beam and also had a red or blue light um, for, for night vision. Uh, thoroughly ease of use. Uh, I've had several headlamps that were just kind of hard to operate uh, in terms of you know changing light settings or tilting the angle of the light. Uh, so I want something that was easy to use. Uh, did a lot of research on different lights out there and for Tika XP2, the ones in this range, it was basically this one or the Princeton Quad Tech. Uh, and both, you know, they're both quality lights. Uh, you know, I think the reason why I chose this one over the Princeton Quad was, uh, you know, one was weight and two was just the, um, you know, a couple other features I'll, I'll get into later about, about this specific light. But uh, to compare and contrast, here is another headlamp that I had. I've had this for about a year pretty bulky. It's a hard plastic. Uh, it takes three AAA batteries that kind of screw in here. Uh, but if you compare this to the Petzl Tika 2, you can see that the Tika 2 is a lot smaller. It's more compact. And it probably weighs about an ounce, I would say an ounce less than this this green monster here. Um, okay, so let's talk about this headlamp a little bit. It has two light settings. On high, it's at 60 lumens. And on low, it is at 17 lumens. 17 lumens, uh, you know, it's advertised as being good enough to walk around a campsite. Uh, I haven't taken this camping yet, so, you know, I'm not quite sure about that. but. Uh, I have worn it to walk the dog and 17 lumens is, is plenty right for that. Uh, it has multiple settings. Uh, first setting is on high. You press it one more time it gets you to low setting. Press it a third time it will go to the typical strobe or flash. If you press down hard for two seconds it will activate the red LED. And another two seconds and it'll flash the red LED. It also has here battery indicator for when you're low on battery which I think is pretty cool. Um, look and design this is a soft plastic it's see-through which I think is pretty neat I kinda like that that's pretty cool. Uh, it also has a diffuser which is this thing so basically normally the light is a spotlight and with the diffuser just gives you a wider angle. Uh, I definitely like this feature in this lamp. I think the diffuser is pretty cool uh, and it's very easy to activate. You just kind of push it up and down. Uh, in terms of angle, if I switch it this way, you can tilt the angle by doing this so basically if you're wearing it you can tilt it down um, to about 45 degrees which I think is pretty sufficient um, here's the button that changes the settings uh, that was definitely a, a big plus for me was that uh, the button on this headlamp was was really easy to locate and easy to use. It wasn't complicated. It's much larger than some of the other buttons that you might see out there. 
Uh, if you take a look at this one again, the button here is really small. It's on the side. This one's just right on top. And let's talk about the strap. Plastic. Pretty stretchy. It's, it's thick. It's nice thickness to it. And it feels soft. It's soft on the head. Uh feels comfortable to wear. Uh, it doesn't have like a a foamy insert or something here for extra support, which I kinda wish it did, but that's okay. Uh, one cool feature that has nothing to do with the actual functionality of a headlamp in terms of giving light is this. It's a whistle. So that was pretty cool. I haven't actually seen that before in a headlamp. I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, it's not a very high pitch whistle, but you know what? That's pretty cool. Added function for no extra real cost. I kind of like that. That was pretty neat. Okay, so this is not waterproof. Uh, it's water resistant, it's not waterproof. I would say that's one criticism I have about this headlamp. Uh, if you notice here, there's spacing in between this back piece and this clear plastic. I'm not quite sure how well you can see that, but think you know it would have been too hard for them to kind of just cover that up with some rubber insert or something and and seal that up I think that would have been a, a, a small thing they could have done to improve this headlamp and, and make it waterproof all right so let's do a quick light test of the Petzl Tika XB2 I'm gonna focus on the on the spot function and the diffuser function. So here's the light at 60 lumens on a spot. You can see on spot, you can see the yellow, a little bit of the purple. If I put on the diffuser, now you get a much wider range. So that's 60 lumens with the diffuser. 60 lumens with just the spot. There's 17 lumens. So here is uh, where you access the battery. Just kind of tilt this out. And you place it here and you pull it out. It takes three. Triple A batteries. Now it's fairly easy to open and close. Snap it in place. And put it open. And there you go. I think you can also use lithium batteries with this. Uh, I think that's what it says on the packaging. But uh, total weight with batteries 3.1 ounces. Uh, would I recommend this light? Uh, yes, uh, definitely would recommend it. Uh, you know, did a lot of research. I bought it. I think it's a good quality light. I'm a little concerned about some of the the plastic. You know, plastic is good for lightweight, but over time, you know, some of these pieces uh, may be prone to to breaking. Um, even with this diffuser, you know, it's with a spring, so you can imagine heavy use might become dislodged uh, but other than that uh, I think it's a great light and definitely recommend it alright it's already clutch for clutch reviews thanks a lot